Could we be witnessing the end of meat production as we know it? Or is the concept of beef grown in a test tube by these scientists in Holland just a novel experiment? Well, by using stem cells from one animal, we could produce many times more meat than would have been butchered from the same carcass, which could solve many of the world's problems. Our ability to provide meat, uh, animal protein, uh, to hundreds of millions of people around the world is going to be very constrained in the future. So, good news for food supplies and clearly less butchering also means good news for animals. Today's factory farms cause enormous animal suffering and environmental damage. So if in vitro meats can help alleviate world hunger, um, reduce our carbon emissions, be kinder to animals and make the food supply even safer, then who wouldn't support it? A convincing argument, but are people really going to eat something that's been harvested from the cells of mussel samples, placed into incubators and then collected in petri dishes? It's kind of unnatural and I don't think I'd go for that. I get what they're trying to do and I think it's a good idea in theory, but it's a little bit creepy. But I don't think petri dish is the answer at all. Like, it's horrible. Would you eat a burger out of petri dish? I certainly wouldn't. Would you? Not for 250 grand. I don't want to pay more than 10 pounds for a burger personally. Ah, uh, yes. And then there's the cost. It's not exactly cheap at the moment. A quarter of a million pounds for a quarter pounder. And with it not likely to be in the supermarkets for a decade, it's not yet exactly what you'd call fast food. James Banks, Sky News.